I'd like to take this opportunity to say hello to every one of you. Hi, Dave. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Good to see you all here. Good to see you. So good to be in the company of uh, Grandmaster Sensei Matsud. Did an excellent class this morning. It was, uh, and I, my flight. I'll blame Air Canada. I was trying to get to the birthday party, but uh, I didn't make it. So um, I'm glad that we had an opportunity to to celebrate his his uh, his birthday again. And he's actually getting faster. <laughs> I really liked uh, I really liked the seminar that. Uh, uh, Master Thompson did as well. These guys have been around a long time. Um, they were the pioneers of uh, uh, North American Wei Chi, really, uh, including, including Canada. And they, they brought me in and I introduced the, the system to Canada. So uh, I guess uh, in, in some manner or form, I'm a, a little bit of a pioneer as well. So good to see you all. We're going to do a little bit of movement now because uh, I'm, I'm still a pretty uh, active guy. I like, to, I like to move around. So loosen up a little bit. You, I know you've been in the other classes. and if, uh, if you have any questions while we're doing anything, you just speak up really quick, OK? And one of the things that I really liked about what Master uh, Sensei Matson was saying was is that he's really concentrating on the speed, which is, uh, is what we're looking for. You only have to be a little faster than your opponent. You, 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 you know, all my whole 60 years I've been training fighters, still training fighters to this day. They got a lot of national champions in the, uh, in the boxing world and are still doing a little bit of kickboxing. But uh, you just gotta be a little bit faster. It's like a photo finish, you know, you just gotta be a, a, a nose ahead of the person. Well, some of your guys' nose is a little bit too big, but just a little bit, a little bit f faster than the opponent and makes all the difference in the world, right? And when you decide we put our geese on, we put our uniforms on, we start uh, behaving in the manner of what everybody else is doing because it's what? It's a uniform. And we get drawn into moving like a flock, right? Like a group. And whatever that group, medium speed of that group becomes is where your whole career ends up doing in the, in the katas. And then you do a slow, and then you do a medium, and then you do a fast. Well, what's the, we should be really doing, if we did a slow and a medium, we should do, be doing at least three fast <laughs> if we're looking to get that, that speed level up, okay? You don't have to, uh, it's, it's, like, it's like gunfighting, you know, the, the first shot wins. That's the way it is. We got, we got people that practice target shooting, they, got all kinds of trophies and uh, the kids are shooting them and they say well what, how, how how did you beat this guy he's the top he's our firearms instructor he's the top guy he's got all the certificates and all the what did you do where did you, i just grabbed it and i went like that right made it very simple and the same thing with with fighting first usually the first punch gets in there makes a big difference you got an injured opponent so we need to be able to pick our, our speed level up, and you should never ever be restri restricted to the type of speed that you want. You'll never ever make a whip crack if you're operating at middle speed or slow speed. It takes a long time to get that snap, and that snap, and that snap, because that's the effective part of the strike. And the same thing with, with our movements, okay? So we need to get our hand movements up to as fast as you can possibly do uh, without going off track. Okay, so we take that corner and we push it and we push it and we push it. And Master Thompson was talking about being low and the, the, the term we use when I'm training fighters is sit when you hit. Sit when you hit. And the same thing here, sit when you hit, right? Sit when you hit. And that's a concept you should be thinking about when you're, when you're doing your martial arts. Sit when you hit. That'll give you that extra distance that Sensei Thompson was uh, demonstrating, and that'll also give you the speed to be able to make that, that contact. You want, to, you, you want a couple of things. You want to be able to anticipate what your opponent's going to do. 
uh, if they're trained. <laughs> if they're not trained, you don't know what the hell they're going to do, right? But if you've got two trained fighters, a bad fighter can make a good fighter look bad. Right? Well, you're not punching the right way. <laughs> I haven't been trained to punch the right way, right? So let's, let's keep that in mind as we start doing things today, and it's going to be all about uh, speed. So let's get into a, um, get into a left, left stance for now. And let's, we do this, we do this double, double block in the opening. And then really, that's a lot of blocking and nothing happening, right? So what you want to be able to do when you do that, you want to be able to make sure that your everything is working together. So your 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 strike becomes part of your block. Yes, and it should be it should be invisible to you. You shouldn't see it. Not only me, but you shouldn't see it. Okay, and so what happens is we get we get caught up in the keep practicing. We get caught up, I want you to get it so that it gets so fast that I can't see your hands move, okay? You can no, stop for a sec. Do this. Look. Look. That is like a rope. That is like a rope. That's gonna, that is gonna trap. That's gonna go on to whatever, because it's like a rope, right? It's like a rope. If, if, if you're, is there a time when you might have to do that? Might, maybe, but most of the time is protection. Something is coming, an object is coming. Could be a chair, could be a bottle, could be a stick, punch, kick, something is coming this way. And our objective is to get this area cleared as quickly as possible, right? So, you should be able to do that faster than me. You want to see it again? <laughs> want to see it again? <laughs> Come on, let's get some speed up now on that. Come on. Got to be faster, guys. It's got to be faster. You got to relax. Got to relax the arms and the shoulders. And what? Sit. Sit. And look, look. Stop. Be over the top. Be over the top. Not back here. We're not doing this business here. We got to be over the top. Okay? Yes. Nice. Okay, stop for a sec. So, when I'm talking about over the top, I want the shoulders this way. Relax. Relax. Look, the shoulders are this way. See the difference? Okay, if you pull those lats down like that there, and you open that sternum up here, you're going to be off balance. So the shoulders are rolled to the front. This is where these movements are, are happening because at any point, if I put hold, at any point I put any weight there, she's got that balance to, to happen or she's got that balance to guide me away, which we will work on in a minute. But she's got that balance to guide me off in that direction, okay? So, get all to the front. Get to the front. Your hands should swing in front of you, look. Your hands should swing in front of you. If your hands are swinging here, you're standing up too tall. And what? Sit when you hit. Sensei Thompson, sit when you hit. Down position. Now, when you do that, you're falling, you're almost falling into that position. And you sit when you hit. Nice. Stop. Listen, listen. I don't know if you can hear this. Can you hear that? Okay. 
See that energy leaving? Look. Okay? Energy's leaving. I can hear it. <laughs> okay, I want that energy to be leaving the body. Yes. Nice. There you go. Nice. That's a difference. Yeah. Right? That's a whip. Now, I would want to put my hands in there. If you ask me to do an elbow strike, that's my shotgun. Right? <laughs> that will destroy whatever I want. Right? I hit a guy holding a pad and he hit him here and his arm for four weeks was the color of my shirt. His, his arm was gone. Just hit the edge, edge of the, uh, with the elbow strike. So that, that elbow strike doesn't need a specific pressure point. That elbow strike just needs to hit something. Right? All right, get in the left stance. Let's try that. But what did, it, did it, the delivery of the elbow strike, the foot movement's got to be fast. If the foot movement's fast, the guy has gone home, the lights are out, and he's gone to sleep. Okay, so you need to have that foot movement to be really quick and generate that move and, and twist that body on that strike. Okay, let's try that. Ready? I'm going to give a, I'm going to give a, a command, and I want you to move your feet as fast as you can. And this is what? Got to be invisible. That's got to be invisible, so it's got to be loose. And that shoulder's got to snap. Snap with that shoulder back. The neutral shoulder has got to be kicked back when you strike. Don't try to do your elbow strike with your shoulder square like this here. Like you're taking a picture, okay? That's got to be consequences. There's got to be a recoil in your technique. Got to be a recoil. Something's got to happen to that delivery system, and it's going to change. Okay? Let's try it. Ready? Attack! Too, 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 too much control. Do what you got to do, and be aggressive. Okay? This is, this is a fight we're in. Be, it's okay to hiss and spit and drool. It's okay. Right? You're in a fight. And I say attack is what I want. Attack! Good. Don't, don't forget to throw that arm out there as a, as a trap. Uh, I don't use the B word. I don't use the B word because a block puts a mental concept that you're in a defensive mode. Okay? Think of it as an attack, a deflection, or a trap. We, there's no, no, no blocking here. There's no blocking in a forward attack. Too slow. Got to be quicker. Attack! Attack! Come on! Yes! Get mean. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Attack! Be fast. Be fast. Make it, make it invisible. Make it invisible. That's okay if you're doing it while you're just thinking about it. That's good. Attack! One more time. Attack! Nice. Nice. Okay, get into the right stance. Shuto Rikin. Okay? Shuto Rikin. And look at the Rikin. Pop! Back here. Strike back here. Okay? That's our jab, man. Our Rikins are pop! That's our jab, right? Pop! That's our jab. Bruce Lee tried to hit me with that, right? He couldn't. All right. Block. Shuto. Reekin, invisible hands. I'm not going to do one, two, three. I'm not going to do it, the song. Okay? The fight is over. That's seven seconds. <laughs> fight is over. We got to be striking. We got to be striking under a second. We got to be in the strike mode under a second. Not four seconds down the road. Under a second, we got to be striking. We got to be doing something to that person under a second. Okay? If we're not, we're behind. All right? So let me see some speed. Get in the right stance for now. Right stance. Your other right foot. 
All right, now I want to see speed. So throw that, throw that away and get that shooto off. Tech! Come on, no, 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 no. Come on, pump it. Again. 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 Okay, look here. This, this particular move, so you can see where the punch is coming here. I'm slicing. I'm, sli I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not picking like this. I'm slicing. Boom. Okay, that's what I want to do. Slice. Second punch comes off. Bang! And the reekin comes out. Okay, so I'm slicing. Slicing. Shoot though. Here. Or slicing. Slicing. Punch. Here. Okay, so that, that, that punch is too slow. I'm going to nail him with the reekin. Okay? I'm going to hit him. I'm going to go bang. That punch is in droop. Bang. I'm going to pop and hit at the same time. Okay? That's the way you need to be able to operate. I'm not going, I don't have to wait for him to throw that punch. If he's chambering around, right? I'm going to, I'm going to throw what's called for in that combination because it is a combination and then a punch comes and then we go again, right? We go a second time or whatever we need to do. Okay, so think of how that speed, how important that speed is. All right, watch with the partner. So we're going to do this with the partner. So we're going to let, we're going to let him throw uh, one punch here. We're going to keep it here, and another punch here, and we just guide, guide that away. Okay, so. Okay. So all I'm doing again is guide to guide. Okay, so you have that angle. So see how I'm doing that law? Guide, 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 guide. So I want a person to throw a left, right for now, because we'll, we want to do it real fast. Left, right for now, and it should be a continuous attack. It should be bang, bang, like that. And your movement should be Okay? Take a drink, eat your sandwich, whatever, with the neutral hand. All right, let's try that. So he's punching left, right palm, right palm, deflect. Everything you've done with the right hand. Yes, keep it out in front of you. Nice, punch quick. Okay, stop. Look here. I don't want the guy to have to step eight feet to throw me a punch, okay? We should be in a position of sucker punch, this position here. This is where that punch is gonna come from. So when he punches here, I'm in a position to continue off there, right? Or in, or in this case here, as he punches again, deflect, deflect. Right? Whatever, you, you, whatever you want to do, because I'm in that, I'm in that control mode. Okay, so it's bang, bang, sit. Right punch is coming, I'm just deflecting. Eh? I'm trying to say, stay center. If I make a little mistake, I'm off anyway. So the punch comes here, bang, bang, the punch comes again. Automatically, good balance, okay? So it's very simple. Okay. Oh, you want to resist? <laughs> but here we go, look. Right, there's your takedown, right? Whoa, this here is your partner. That's where the energy comes up from, and that receives a lot of energy <laughs> when you take a person down. That's when you bust hips, shoulder blades, and skulls when you take that person down. You want to take that person down, so that's the end of it. The takedown should be vicious enough for him to stay there. We don't lay nobody down, okay? We throw them down, okay? So again, 
No bad space. That's where I want to be. So I'm clear here. Bang, bang. Clear here, right? Everything is good. Look at the knee. Eh? Pop! <laughs> All right? Let's try that again. Then we'll leave that for a sec. I need you to do it fast. Got to be quick. All right, so uh, Catherine's going to throw the punch again. So guide, guide. See the, how automatically I went into that position. My body adjusted, and because of the size difference, I'm so big, because size difference, and I got down into that position. Okay? There's your takedown ability there. Look. Strike. And again, this is a vicious, a vicious move. Right? These are vicious, vicious moves that you should think about when you're taking somebody down on the ground. Okay? That is your partner. The door jam is your partner. The concrete wall is your partner. The curb is your partner. The car bumper is your partner. Be aware of what you can use to ricochet people off. Right? I mean, it's got to be a serious attack. I mean, it shouldn't be over a parking ticket, right? It should be something really, really serious, like somebody else's a loved one laying on the ground before you, you start doing that, that serious of attack. Okay, so this time here, the same punch is coming. This time we're gonna step off to the side and we're gonna do a groin strike. Groin strike, boom! Up inside, up inside, this way. This will bring us around to the rear, okay? For whatever you want to do from there, right? But this, the, the concept is the sidestep is the important part here. Hit, hit the leg here. Hit the leg, okay? Hand is loose. Hit that leg, hit that leg. Continue on that with that move, continue. Palm heel is up, right? Up. Look at the elbow. Up. So if, if he's coming and he's resisting too slow, I give him a little push forward. And then, I, and then up with the move, right? Isn't that cool? That gets me in a complete position here. I don't have to be fancy. I'm not going to do it. I don't have to be fancy. I just need to get a hold of something something and just I'm not even going to drag him back I'm just going to go Hum! I'm going to drop him Hum! this way straight down like his gi was empty straight down like his gi was empty okay going back is easy taking a guy down is easy but this way here and this way down is more violent Okay, so watch one. I'm, uh, again, we're only doing, we could do it right, left and right. But uh, here, same drill, same time, bah! same time. Okay, inside, I'm going to be over here, up, elbow this way, up, and bring that up here. I can come over the top with another elbow strike, or I can what? Disengage or take him down. Okay? Let's try that. So you're, it's a left, it's a left punch. Right palm heel, left groin strike. Around, up, palm heel. When I do that second strike, when I do the second strike, my body's here. My body's here because I'm going that way. My body's here going, boom! That's the way, that's the way, look, hips. Okay, this is where I'm gonna end up, right here, when I'm doing that second strike. Okay, don't, don't try to do it here, like that, because he's watching and that's, this is gonna come. So, when this lands, bang, and you're growing, the, the body mechanics is gonna be like that. <laughs> Okay. Like you're lifting them. All right. 
One of the things that is really important is we're fighting an imaginary person. We're fighting air. A lot of us, all we ever do is fight air. That's our meanest opponent. So if you're going to scare me, you got to be looking pretty good fighting air. Okay? So you need to really be frothing at the lips and frothing at the mouth, spitting and snarling, fighting air, and say, well, I don't want hit, to get hit by that guy or that woman. She's crazy. Okay? So we need to put a lot more into our training, into our kata. And we need to really develop that speed. If you're faster than anybody else, you're the gunslinger, man. Right? You're, you're, you're cool. You know, you can walk in like I walk in. Right? You can carry yourself. Because you know you've got the wherewithal to deal with just about anything that may come up. And that's what you're training for. I know you like the exercise, and I know you like the pretty white gi, but we've got to make it realistic whenever we train. You've got to go there, and you've got to be as hard, and hit as hard as you possibly can, kick as hard as possibly you can, work out as hard as possibly you can, and you come back next week for another imaginary opponent. Okay? So, it takes a lot of effort to be good with this, unless you've got to contact with person every class. And that's really important. Impact training is really important. Focus mitts, pads for legs, kicking, 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 striking, striking, elbows on pads, striking a heavy bag, all those things at least, at least minimum half hour of your class should be striking and impact training. And serious, that's why they're pads, so they can't hurt you. <laughs> That means that you can hit as hard as you possibly can. When I train fighters, uh, they don't go home until they're hitting right. There's not three punches. It's, you know, five, six, eight hundred punches. Three or four hundred kicks. Over and over and over. And these are seasoned fighters. These are f fighters that fight for a living. These are fighters that fight in the Mohican sun. <laughs> Foxwoods. These are national champions that I'm talking about that I train. So we need to get used to that level of environment in your dojos. And if you're not getting it, get with a couple of the guys in the gym. And say, listen, can we train afterwards? Can we stay a half hour? Can we stay 15 minutes? I want to do some pad work. Oh, we got another class coming. We'll go in the other room. Go in the parking lot. Do something but get some work done, okay? Learn to make impact training and learn to be fast. If you're the fastest gun, you're the champ. If you're the fastest with a knife, you're the champ. Okay, if you're the fastest with the punch, you're the champ. It all relates to how quick you are and how committed you are. And what? Sit when you hit. <laughs> all right. Hi. Thank you.